Hey party people, y'all know the drill. We're getting ready to go into our late spring, early summer transition. We've already redecorated the house, but we've got a few holidays coming up to get ready for, and as well as a few events. First off, we have Mother's Day on May 9th. Secondly, we have graduation season for the end of May. We have Memorial Day at the end of May, and then we have to start getting ready to do our patriotic DIYs for July 4th. So if you're interested in that, and if you're interested in seeing what Dollar Tree has to offer this time, come along, stay tuned, and let's see what we see. Okay, so first off, we are starting with Mother's Day. Now, all of these mugs are great options to maybe prepare a fun little Mother's Day gift basket from your children. Now, dads, if you are taking your kids, well, or really any caregiver, if you're taking your kids into the Dollar Tree, give them maybe a $5 budget, tell them to pick out some special items that remind them of mom, and it's a really inexpensive way to let something really be from the heart, whether it's these little candle holders or smell good holders or melters wax melts <laughs> or even these really beautiful simple cards now i also know a lot of people don't buy traditional greeting cards anymore and that's kind of ridiculous because in the stores they can be six seven eight dollars but in dollar tree they're generally two for one dollar or even just the really nice ones are one for a dollar and that's a much better value they do sell Mother's Day products, cards, etc., for a wide variety from moms, nanas, caregivers, etc. Now, moving forward from Mother's Day, we are into the grad section. Now, due to a global pandemic, last year's graduations didn't look quite the traditional, and I was really excited to see so much, so many grad products brought back to Dollar Tree this year, including the This Girl Can, some hooray congratulations, reach for the stars, etc. type mugs. I thought these are so nice and special, the, but the This Girl Can one I really, really loved. Now, the next thing are these balloons. Now, you can buy them at Party City, but they're really expensive. I recommend you buy those balloons and even these fun different option colored signs. I thought these were great because they can go with any school colors. I also love all the tumblers and the rubber ducks with the mortar boards. And I thought that especially if you're having a grad party with multiple grads, maybe designating each of them with a special cup or something would be a good idea. Now I love those bubbles, but I missed them on my first trip in. But these tinsel mortar board hats, I thought it would be so funny as some centerpiece decor. Now there's lots of banners, again, in all the different color schemes, really can go with any type of theme of party that you're having. But what I love is that, um, as you're gonna see right here, they do have these grad cap decor decorations. So stickers or iron-ons that you can put on your grad caps. I decorated my grad cap when I got graduated from college. And I love how the decor matches with the different themes of the uh, grad cap decorations they have. So the party starts at graduation and continues. Now, how funny are these bubbles with the lids being the little mortar boards? I thought these are a great favor, especially if you're entertaining young kids at a graduation or even if you're hosting a kindergarten graduation. So here's just some examples. And again, some of these items, especially things with stars on them, if you have too many, you can repurpose them for the new year, like New Year's Eve holidays. Anyway, okay, moving on to summer. How cute are these two jeep signs and also these little tinsel pineapples i thought these were so funny especially if you wanted to remove the tinsel and rewrap them maybe with some burlap twine and then paint it if that's more of your style i also love these palm tree cups these are so funny and i know that a bunch of kids at a pool party would have a great time with these but it's also very reminiscent of drinks on the pier or out in vegas or whatever so if you're not traveling this summer maybe they'd be a fun addition for a little staycation type presentation. <laughs> I don't know. Um, these little cups, again, would be such a great pool party favor or a good way to write each kid's name on a cup so everyone knows who their cup is and we reduce waste. I also loved all the pineapples and these kind of psychedelic looking cups. I thought these were really fun. Not psychedelic, holographic. Anyway, y'all know what I mean. So I thought these would be really fun too if you need a big cup to keep your drinks in or stay hydrated in when you're at work. Now, I love these little mason jar style cups. I get these for my bonus baby and she loves them. We get new ones for every season and she loves putting all of her little drinks and having a little straw. Now, I love, love, love these big cups. These are so great because this really helps you remember to drink lots of water. And you can see compared to my hand, these are absolutely giant. They come in lots of colors and themes. 
Now, I love these signs too. These are great for next to the pool or out by a tiki bar or just for general summer decor. Just seal them with some stuck scotch guard and they'll last you forever. I also loved all those holographic pineapple plates and these fun little cups. Now, of course, they have their traditional pink flamingos but now every year i always get these mason jar cups these are the three styles for 2021 at dollar tree and i actually use these the traditional way during uh summer and then i flip them over and repaint them for different holidays in the fall and winter now i love those solar stakes i for sure pick some of those up for my garden but i'm loving all the different colors of lays now if you're a lazy wreath maker like me you can easily wrap those lays around maybe with some of these fun lights for a really fun poolside wreath for the summertime now these lights come in butterflies and those little uh flowers so those are great too battery operated y'all know the drill Moving right on along, it is time to get ready for the patriotic season. This unicorn and this little dog tinsel I thought would be so fun to decorate a kid's room with, add some whimsy. Um, but I know that tinsel is not for everyone. And if you wanted to actually rewrap these with some burlap twine, I'm sure you could. Also, speaking of kiddos, these headbands would be amazing to visit your 4th of July parades. And again, crazy that we're actually planning to do those this summer, right? These solar stakes in red, white, and blue I also think are so cute, but look at all of these fun whirly gigs and little metal stands to put in your garden or in your flower boxes or whatever. And I just think that it's so fun to really get in these bright colors for the season. Now, these tinsel stars, I love these, but honestly, I picked these up for a very different reason. I'm going to rip all that tinsel off and rewrap them to use for Christmas ornaments. So the, some of the fun things about buying 4th of July decor is thinking about repurposing it for other holidays. Now, these window clings, I absolutely love them. Specifically, this one I thought was amazing with the Home of the Brave sticker. And this one being America the Beautiful One Nation. I thought that was so wonderful and just really, really well done. These popsicles and ice creams, though, I think would be great for some kiddos to plaster all over their windows. But I did end up picking up that one and the other one that I showed you guys. But this One Nation sticker, I'm going to make a big sign out of. I think it's such such a great like just a great design it's perfect i love that it looks like oh i'm dropping everything okay lastly i love all the different garlands they brought out for fourth of july for a few reasons one obviously patriotic decor is great but two so many items you we can use for another diy and three items that are really great to maybe spruce up a storefront if you're someone who started a small business during the pandemic um and you want to add some decor to maybe a main street parade display but couldn't afford to do it stop by your local dollar tree now even though my outro is showing here i'm getting ready to do my haul all right so here is this haul this video is a mod podge there's all sorts of stuff going on but these are the things that i picked up that center around mother's day and gardening and the like so first off dollar tree's cards i got this one for my own mom by the way if you're my mom just tune out here i don't <laughs> hi um if you're related to me maybe don't watch but anyway I picked up this card. It says, Mom, I love you to the moon and back. And what I love about this is because we do not live in the same state and um, sometimes feels like we're really far away. And her favorite colors are purple and red. So I picked the purple sparkly one and the sunset and the mountains just reminded me of my view from home. And then inside it has like the, like the lake with the pine trees and it reminded me of where she's moving to. So anyway, I thought this was so sweet. So I picked this up for my mom and these ones are handmade. Um, so they're a dollar a piece, still cheaper than Hallmark. Do not buy cards at Hallmark or the grocery store or anywhere that charges you more than a dollar for a card. So Dollar Tree all the way. That's card number one. Now, because I'm a delight, just kidding. I, <laughs> I'm not, anyway. I also got cards for both my grandmas. So one of the cards is again, I guess we got all purple cards. I guess it's a theme. But this one is a religious card and these ones are two for a dollar. Again, these are a Hallmark brand. These are Heartline. So at a grocery store, this literally costs $3.99 at a grocery store. Do not spend that much on cards. Um, love, I love these people, but my, my bank account cannot support me spending $4 on a piece of paper. So anyway, I got two of these for a dollar and this one has some feathers and this has a religious phrase from the book of numbers and is just really sweet, simple, and lots of, I like how cards have room to write a personal message in them. 
And then this one, again, it has a little sparkle, some teacups, you know, more text inside. And it's just, you know, very, like, I'm not gonna go into why I picked these two cards word-wise, but they are both really sweet and special, and I figure they're perfect for the ladies in my life. So, for $2, I got everybody all their cards. Still cheaper than a grocery store card. I've been talking for two minutes about cards. Moving on, some of the other fun items that we've been finding. Um, have been kind of a mixed bag of random. I have found a lot of these fun summer signs and I do have some other haul videos featuring these items where I go more in depth, but the big mug cup signs are back. Also in the video I showed a lot of the can canvas art and I picked up a lot of the canvas and little wood slab art pieces for my own house. I have the washer ones already hanging up in my bathroom and laundry room. I have farmer's market ones I'm getting ready to bring out and farm fresh ones for the summertime. I picked up this one, which is this cool horse. I'm kind of wishing I got two of these so I could have given one to my mom too. So again, putting this like a sweet card and maybe some like teas or something in a little basket makes a really great Mother's Day gift. Yes, my mom is as horse crazy as I am. We will not apologize. Um, <laughs> the next few little treasures that I picked up recently to go along with the farmer market theme are these signs, which are both from their farmer's market collections, as well as these two hangers, which you can make wreaths um, or wreath hangers, wreath centers out of these super easily. And then lastly, from this specific trip, I did find these um, little outside garden stakes and they had these in gnomes too, but I did not pick up the gnomes or the stars. I just wanted these ones. And then I also got some window clings for some future DIYs. So if you're a fan of this channel and a fan of crafting along with me, make sure to stop by your Dollar Trees, see what fun summer finds they have out, pick up the ones that suit your taste and fancy, and I'll see you in my next craft video. Thanks so much for coming by guys. I hope everyone has a wonderful Mother's Day.